Good morning. This morning I'm going to just show a simple um, sample of a um, advanced widget. Um, we we're covering INF 2611 for 2021 assignment two, advanced widgets, menus, and toolbars. Okay, and so in the assignment it says here. Often it is necessary to calculate how much time, days, hours, etc. will pass before a certain event will take place. Your app will assist members of the public in calculating how long they will have to wait for their COVID vaccination. The app must be a simple uh, screen application that displays the current date and time, input the future date and then displays how much time until the COVID vaccinations will take place. You make use of the following widgets, a Q calendar widget, a Q push button, and any display widget showing the message. So I'm going to open my designer quickly um, and represent it to you. So this is my screen over here. Okay. Um, I've got a label over here, label of current date, okay, I've named the object name uh, that, okay, um, yeah, let's just expand that, um, yeah, then I've got a, another label called select your birth date, um, this is the um, Q calendar widget, okay, I've left it as its default name, calendar widget, I've also got um, this date edit, okay, um, so I've changed it to DTE selected date, and then I've got my push button, which says show age, and here's my label, where it says you are, and it'll give you how old you are, okay, based on your selection date. Alright, so um, once you've got that, I've saved my form, I've gone and saved it as birthday GUI, okay, and uh, then you need to run the command, um, you go into your command console, and you say PYURC5, birthday GUI dot UI, uh, minus O, and then birthday GUI dot PY, you hit enter, and now it's been converted, so now you've got a file called Python, um, or birthday, birthday gui.py like this okay and inside this it's got all the um, variables that I've added there okay and then you've got to go and create your own um, um, file to the code that calls this now so if you have a look here I've got my import sys okay to run command line stuff um, from PyQt5 widgets, you must import Q dialog, Q applications, Q graphics scenes. Okay, then from my birthday GUI, which is this file over here, it must import everything. Then I define my class over here. Okay, um, for my my dialog, because I've chosen that it's a dialog without buttons, and then from here I've got my label which will say I'm going to assign to a variable um, current date and it takes the date from QT core QT date current date and then it converts my current date to a string okay because you need to display it in a string you're going to pass it to a label this is now passing it to my label and saying please set the text to the current date string which is this uh, one at the top here and then I've got it that um, if when, if the user changes the calendar it must please um, display it onto that um, date selection tool okay and then also I've got a button of show age and then um, that show age will execute what it'll do is it's got a birth date variable um, it's going to choose the selected date from the calendar and then it's going to pass it to age in years and I'm, I've got it birth date days to divide by 365 and then I've converted that age um, this age 
age to um, a string. So this is my age string variable, okay, and I've set format, and because this variable comes in double, um, I've told it that I want no decimal places, and this is what the output looks like. So you can see here, age in years is passed over here, and then it must format it, it must round it off with uh, no decimal places, okay, and then it passes it through to um, the label age, and then it'll display your age. So if I click on run, run module, um, this screen will appear over here. And what's nice is I can click this down option here. I can go to 2000. Okay. I can say January. I can say 1. And I can you see here how it's changed to 1st of the 1st 2000. Okay. Saying my current date is the 24th of the 5th, 2021. And you see here it's just got UR. Click on show age, 21 years old. All right. So I hope this helps um, you in at least getting the widgets to work. Um, you can go further and uh, complete the rest of the assignment for assignment 2. Thank you for watching. All the best for INF 2611. Goodbye.